Okay, so this presentation is going to be on hacking into the actual download botnet using SQL query code. Um, before we just, you know, injected our show code and actually didn't really execute any queries. So, this time we're going to do that and hopefully we can get it to work flawlessly. And, yeah, I'll just, I'll just write this as we go. So first let's just declare a query that we want to use to, you know, hack into the mainframe. So char query equals select all download from database botnet where where download equals mainframe divided by null right because we want to because once we're in the mainframe we actually want to set the download equal to the mainframe divided by null so we can get the null pointer value of the root right so we can get root to the machine right square root okay so now that we have the query, we're going to have to do some inline and ASM to actually connect that to the mainframe SQL computer. Now this is all going to be locally introduced, so they can, you know, send that into the router, which will take the code and actually transmit that to the mainframe computer SQL server. And then, you know, we can build our botnet from there. So we're going to push the query onto the stack, and that's obviously the address of the query, so now we got to actually set up the the base pointer, so we're going to move EBP ESP. We're going to want to push EBP, of course, save the, the old value of it. And now we're going to XOR EBP against 0x32, which is the, that's the encryption key for all download, you know, in basic mainframe server outlines. So it's now encrypted with the value, and we're going to call D word pointer to the data segment of exit process. Okay, and that's going to be minus null value. So it's really going to jump, and we're going to comment that out so it executes after. You might have learned that in the previous tutorial. Now that we've called exit process, we we are really connected to the router right now, so we can actually include our Winsock and stuff up here so we can connect. I mean, we're already connected, so we can send stuff. So now we can actually push push the query but we're going to push a D word pointer to it. Um, we're going to push 32, 0x32 for the socket identification number download botnet. And we're going to push 0x FF, 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 FF for the mainframe. We're going to push 32 minus 5, comment that out so it runs after. And this is actually going to be 0x132. Now we're going to call D word pointer to the data segment of send. Now, this should work pretty well, but let's actually go ahead and execute the shell code. So we push, we're actually going to have to construct the shell code. I've actually memorized every corresponding bytecode and operand for ASM, so I can just actually type it out right here. It's 0x9, 0x22. Yeah. Um, I've been doing this for about 50 years now, and I, I've I've come a long way from, you know, downloading TI-83 calculators to actually doing this mainframe shit. So now we're going to push the shell code, and we're going to call shell execute, right? So we got the shell execute. And now I guess we could just write a function to execute SQL download. So execute SQL download char query. ASM XOR EBX EBX add EBX 0x FFFF and EBX 0x32 and that's going to run fine once we um what is it we push gear on a data segment query and right here we'll just call um, execute SQL download execute SQL download and we do the query we can compile this. Okay, um, we got unclared identifier. It's obviously going to be a capital. We have a new line and constant here. I forgot our. All right, so it's. Okay. Um, give me one second to open this. Vista is obviously not 
meant for downloading mainframes. Okay, so Visual Studio, Projects, Mainframe Release. We have our mainframe right here. Open it, it runs, it executes, and it hacks. This has been Downloading Mainframes by Botnet Master. Thank you for watching.